What's going on, guys? It's Mr. DEBT, Joe Lork from the Money Etiquette Group, coming to you really quickly to talk about the 52-week challenge and the Sprint merger. Um, I didn't make a video for this last week, but for week five and week six, I decided to invest more money into Sprint. And it turns out today that paid off because as of today, it has been ruled that the Sprint and T-Mobile merger can move forward. This is huge news for anyone that's holding Sprint, for anyone that uh, even has some T-Mobile stock. This is great news for any investor in either company because it means you're going to make more money just by letting your money sit. Now, the merger won't take place until at the earliest April 1st, but we could see this pushed until June, July. You know, there are a lot of uh, details that have to be worked out, but they've known about this for over a year that they were going to go for it. So they should know where they're going to downsize, where they're going to increase, how they're going to handle uh, sharing services, creating one network. Uh, and certainly that's going to be a 5G network. So it's going to be interesting to see where things go. But from an investment standpoint, this is why you can't be afraid to make small investments. OK, when I first uh, during this challenge purchase a share of Sprint, it was $4. It may have been $3 and some change, but it was around $4. And now it's at eight and it's gaining, okay? It might be nine by the end of the day. Now that won't make me a multimillionaire, but it's a win and it's a win based on reasoning. I knew ahead of time that Sprint was gonna merge with T-Mobile. Based on the past and based on what I've seen in terms of the industry and in terms of mergers, I didn't think that this would not go through. OK, and it did. It took time, but I felt like it was going to go through and it did. And I knew that would be a win in the short term for Sprint and in the long term for the combined company. Now, we'll see where it goes. We'll see how well they do in the market um, on the long term basis. But on a short term basis, this was a great win. And I hope you guys are not afraid to buy inexpensive stocks in anticipation of them growing, especially when news is put out there that they're gonna grow because of a merger, because of some change in technology, because their services or their products are gonna be used more based on how we're changing as an economy. Guys, pay attention and don't ignore the tea leaves that are put out there for you. Don't ignore the hints that are put out there for you in an obvious way because it's gonna hurt you in the long run. Now, the next uh, move that I'm looking at, again, I told you guys I previewed it. I'm looking at the Robinhood IPO. And also, speaking of IPOs, uh, this past week, I did invest in Reynolds uh, Consumer Goods IPO, and that's been winning. So you may have seen that video uh, on my channel, and it wasn't related to the 52-week challenge. But nevertheless, guys, look, invest. Start your 52-week challenge. You can win even with small investments because companies like Sprint are not expensive. However, they're going to go up when they have mergers on the way, when they have big business and big news on the way. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, this is a short and quick video, straight to the point. Again, April 1st is the earliest date that uh, the merger will take place. So keep that in mind, guys. I appreciate your time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Support us. There are going to be more IBO videos, more 52-week challenge videos. Just keep on working, guys. Don't give up. Don't get lazy. Don't get back into your old habits. Keep trading, guys. Keep trading even when you're not sure about it. Just go for it at these low amounts because what do you really have to lose? $6, you're going to be okay. Just trade, guys. Get in the game. Don't sit on the sideline. Have a good one.